What is going on everyone? Enzo here back with another episode of my Chelsea career mode. We are in season two trying to win the Champions League. We have Milan and Monaco in this episode. In the meantime, we are going to go ahead and sim this matchup in the Carabup versus Bristol Rovers. If you guys want to go ahead and subscribe to my channel, give it a like or leave a comment. That'd be awesome. I like interacting and read everything you guys write down there. Uh, if not, that's cool too. But let's see. Go ahead and thump Bristol 3-1 here. In the Carabao Cup, we're going to go ahead and sim this game versus Burnley and then jump in versus Milan and Monaco because that is our main goal to win the Champions League this year. I'd love to be able to do that our second season in. Let's go ahead and see how we do versus Burnley. Hopefully our second squad could keep us up there towards the top of the EPL table. They scored before the sim even started. Arnautovic is going to put that one in. Let's see how this is going to end. We're going to lose 2-1 to Burnley. That's not the greatest result, but into the Champions League, what we really came here for. Let's go ahead and make sure our A team is in. So we got a couple messages from the office. Let me clean these up real quick. Actually, you know what? Let's do the press conference. Let's praise the boys and see if we can give them a little, a little kick in the butt for this game. Uh, play time. I noticed some players are going to be disappointed about playtime because I'm only playing them in the Champions League, the A team, because I want them to be well rested, but the players in the game don't know that I'm only trying to win the Champions League. Didn't really consider that, but I think that'll end up being okay nonetheless. Let's see if I can go ahead and show you guys the team that we have created. It's an amazing team we put together. Werner, Hazard, Dybala, Asensio are the front four. SMS and Kante in the midfield. Alexandro, Koulibaly, Varane, Kimmich, and Kepa bringing us up in goal. Let's jump into the game. Kante finds Kimmich in space. Tons of room. Going to cut this one into the middle. Inside, back outside. Kante. Hazard on the right foot. Hazard shoots. Deflected. Collected by Donnarumma. SMS into Werner, Asensio on that left foot, Asensio shoots wildly over the net, didn't set our feet in time. Dybala on that left foot, SMS into Werner, Let's see Alexandro out on the wing. Alexandro, I'd like to see him make some more of some forward runs. Dybala, Dybala, a bit of magic, Dybala skips off the defender. Milan coming right back down the other way here. Castellejo can't let him do his tricks. Ooh, Rockets won from long range. Barely saved by Kepa, keeping us in it. Let's get, who is this Dybala? Where's SMS? Oh, Dybala actually is going to take that one down. Oh my god, Milan going back down the other way. Who is this? I don't have no idea. Tikasikanov. Who the heck is this? Oh my god. God, are you serious? How did Kepa get beaten on the near post right there like that? I don't know who this guy is. Is this a prospect? Oh my goodness. Kepa gets beat on his near post and we're going down at home. Who is this? T I gotta I gotta look this guy up real quick. I have no clue who this is. One second. Okay, so I looked him up. He's uh, tw that, the guy who just scored. I have no idea how to pronounce his name. If anyone is, he's a Ukrainian player, plays on Dynamo Kiev, is only 21 years old, and looks like a real prospect. Already plays for the national team, has a whole bunch of goals uh, from the midfield. So I don't know if anyone watches this that's Ukrainian, but if so, tell me how to pronounce his name. Looks like he can definitely be a prospect for the future. Anyway, I got to try to get one more chance here. Let's see, we got. Not a lot of time left, and no one getting open. Let's see if we can find Asensio on this far side. It's not going to come down for us. We just couldn't get open at all in this. I couldn't get anything going in the final third in this game. Oh, sorry. That was kind of not the greatest game ever, but hopefully we get into a rhythm, and we can take out Monaco in the next game. Uh, let's let's head towards that. We, we had 64% of the possession. Just couldn't get a lot in the final third. All right, so we're going to sim this next game here versus Leicester City. We're going to see how this goes. This is our EPL game. Let's see if we can get back on the right track. This is our second squad. We go up 1-0 and then go down to 2-1. I don't know. I might have to change my strategy here. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep playing my second team in the EPL, though they are all pretty much rated 80 and above. What place are we in right now? We're in sixth place, so maybe... You know what? Let's stick with it for now and see what happens. Let's go ahead and test ourselves again in this game versus Bournemouth. 
pulled groin for Loftus Cheek. Uh, Werner also pulled groin. What were they doing together? That's kind of weird. Pulled hamstring for Loftus Cheek. What the heck is going on? I don't know what we got going on in our locker room, but people are pulling leg muscles left and right. Shoot, I'm going to have to go ahead and fix this. I'll be right back. All right, now let's go ahead and take care of this game versus Bournemouth. We really need to pick up a win here. We have a pretty solid second team. We should be able to be winning games like this. There we go. Two to one. Let's see, Jorginho and Abraham on the score sheet. That's good to see. Abraham, the youngster, getting in there. But we're going to get back into the Champions League. Hopefully, Werner is available for this game. Back from his little leg boo-boo. Let's see if he can tough this one out or not. Press conference. No, let's not do that right now. I did a last game and it didn't help. Hazard wants to play, but that's because we're not playing him in the EPL games. All right, so let's go ahead and go to our squad. Hopefully, Werner is available. Looks like he's a little shy on fitness, but it's going to be good enough to throw him in the game. Let's get into this game. I'll show you the table real quick, actually. So, taking a look at the table, Milan won their first two versus Monaco, or, uh... Yeah, versus us and Monaco, and then we beat Fenerbahce, drew or lost to Milan. So this is a big game versus Monaco right now, both on three points. This is going to be away at the what is it, the Stade Louis, King Louis, something like that stadium. I don't know. Let's see if it's in the game or not. I'm not too sure. Should be. They're one of the best clubs in the world. But let's see. No, they were playing at the Union Park Stadium. All right, that's okay. Let's get into this one anyway. Although I should I should say. I say best clubs in the world, usually, just not this year. But anyway, they still have some good players out there. They had, I just saw Keita Balde on loan at Inter. I think that's with an option to buy. Uh, they have a bunch of other good players out there too. Still, Jemerson, you saw earlier in defense, he's a great youngster as well. Let's see if we can go ahead and win the ball. They got Chadley right here on the wing too. Let's see if we can get this one out of danger. Let's see if we can get something going early, unlike the previous game. Come on, get this one up to Hazard. That should be onside. Should be onside. On his right foot. Hazard! Blows the chance. Dusan Basta, the former Udinese man right there. I didn't think I can get it from the angle I had. I didn't, I didn't think I'd be able to score that one on my left foot. Let's actually... Let's call for a second player. Let's actually keep this one short and maintain control of the ball. Let's see, give that to Asensio. Who's this at the top of the box? Rafael Varane. Not necessarily who we want there, but that's okay. We'll keep control. Uh, Alexandro, Sergey, into Werner, Werner. Looking for the open man, Werner, into Conte. Oh, we had an opening for a second there. Couldn't make it count. Werner, Conte. Conte blasts one on his right foot. Subasic, the World Cup finalist out of Croatia, makes the save. Are they actually going to give us a? They're actually going to give us a free kick on that one. Wow, he really let that go. That's interesting. Some people have different thoughts on that because it's like you get the shot and now you're getting the free. Oh, they picked up Delight. It looks like too, but you know, on that call where the ref lets play on, you take advantage by taking the shot. And then, but now you get the free kick also. It's almost like a two for one. Let's see if we can get this one up and down with Dybala. Just off the end of the wall. That could have been heading for the top corner. All right, let's, you know what? We've been having some good, we've been having some good possession. Let's not just give the ball away. Let's give this in here to Dybala. The small Argentine magician into Conte. Conte on his right foot. No one closes him down. Stefan Jovicic, the former Fiorentina star, was going to be one of, was one of the great youngsters back in the day. Ended up having a solid career, but not great. His career kind of went off the tracks when he went to Man City. Never really got going. Oh, man, just a terrible giveaway. Jovicic buries it in the back of the net. What am I doing right there? Jovicic buries it near side again. Kepa getting beaten near side for the second game in a row. But yeah, he was there at that time when Man City, well, I guess still, they just have so many talented players. It's just so hard to break into the team. That, ooh, that outside in curler. Beautiful shot, but we hate to get beaten by something like that. Alexandro should be able to spring a break here. Should have men wide open. Hazard. Let's see, is this Dybala in the middle? Dybala back to Hazard. Hazard. 
Werner, Werner shoots and scores! That is a big goal for us, thank you! The pressure was definitely piling on after that poor performance versus Milan and giving away a goal there. Not gonna lie, pretty relieved with that. Just absolutely buries it near side. See, low driven shot, just buries it. Subicic, no shot, screened by Delight. Into the back of the net, 1-1, one, one, game on. All the big Serbs gonna win that one back. Dybala, back to Dybala. Werner, intricate stuff. Asensio, Asensio on the left foot. Asensio shoots. Oh, just over the far side of the net. Oh, he's been on that left foot. Has just not been on today. Let's see, Conte sees Dybala in a mile of space. No stamina left, though. In the middle, Asensio finally on that left foot. He shoots. Wide again. What is going on with Asensio's magical left foot? Oh, I thought I hit the timing of that one perfect. Or did that one take a deflection? Oh, that did take a deflection. I was going to say, I thought, oh, I thought I timed that one perfectly. Hazard whipping this one in top of the box. Conte is going to get on this. Let's see. Is this Dibal Asensio? Let's see if we can cut him in on that left. Let's see. Kimmich. Kimmich. Hazard. SMS. Asensio. Conte. Conte shoots. I think that took another deflection. Oh, over for a goal kick. We're creating all kinds of chances. Just can't finish at the moment. Oh, this should be in. Hazard should be in here. Hazard on the left foot. He shoots and scores. He buries it with the weak foot in the side of the net. The far corner. The Belgian magician. Asensio comes over to celebrate. The whole team is going nuts. Conte, Alexandro, everyone comes over. What a beautiful goal. Crap, I skipped the replay. Beautiful goal. Gold nonetheless on the left foot into the far corner. You saw it the first time. Click back and watch it again if you want. No, I'm seriously a 2-1. Huge goal on the road here. Let's see if we can hold out. Maybe banging another goal here. Dybala, beautiful stuff. Oh, oh, what a gorgeous goal. Come on, ref, keep your flag down. Thank you. Oh, that was, a, that was a moment of magic right there. Finally into our groove after just a brutal game versus Milan. Finally coming to life here in Monaco. Must be that the Monaco air down here. Monacan? Monacoan? No clue. But anyway, nonetheless, Dybala, Conte, Hazard on that sweet right foot into the bottom corner. Subasic, no chance. Might have been a World Cup finalist, but not going to stop that. 3-1 on the road, and we should be wrapping up all three points. Alexander Golovin, I forgot he was on another World Cup star. Surprise Monaco picked him up. Yuri Tielemans, too. I, how is Monaco... Man, especially with Henri there now, bringing all his knowledge over. How is Monaco so bad this year? They have so many young, talented players. Another one you guys probably haven't heard of, a Pietro Pellegri. Uh, came from Genoa when he was 16, 17. He scored a couple goals for Genoa when he was only... Dybala absolutely undresses his defender there. Still going. Still Dybala. Still Dybala. Oh, no, still Dybala on that left foot. Oh, still, still <laughs> ran out of gas. <laughs> Anyways, I was saying, um, this kid Pietro Pile Pellegri, he uh, plays on Genoa, played on Genoa. Came over when he was like 16, 17. He's already scored for Monaco once or twice. But anyway, the point being, they have so many young, talented players. I'm sure it's a matter of time before they'll be back. Just can't believe they're in the relegation zone down there right now, though. Anyway, 3-1. Let's see if we can get one final goal here. Tons of space opening up now. Conte. Hazard. On the right foot, Hazard. Off the post. I think it might have took a little deflection. Golovin's going to kick this one out. We're going to take the throw in. Dybala. Conte. Conte shoots. Saved by Suvicic. Back into the middle. No, oh, we lose the ball. Oh, no. I tried to take that one too early. I just didn't have faith in Conte dribbling in and taking. He's not great at finesse shots at this game. Or in real life, I guess, for that matter. But anyway, we're going to take this one 3-1 on the road. What a win down in the French municipality. I don't know if that's the right word in that situation. Seems right. We had 21 shots on net in that game. Just absolutely dominated. 
I think that's 21 shots total. I don't I don't know if those all hit the net or not, but either way, let's see, Milan and Fenerbahce doesn't give us that result. Let's see if we can go ahead and sim ahead a little bit to that Crystal Palace game. Let's see what the office wants. Aiden Hazard says, thanks, boss. Thank you, buddy. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and let's go to the let's go to the Champions League table. All right, so here we are in our Champions League group. Unfortunately, Milan must have won their game versus Fenerbahce, so now they are 3-0, six goals scored, one against. I think we can beat them in, in the return leg, even though that one is going to be back at the San Siro. Um, we're sitting comfortably in second, though. We just we played Monaco. We dominated them pretty well from start to finish, uh, so it's going to be, be between... We're going to have to stay out of Monaco, and hopefully Milan's going to have to drop off points, or we're going to have to beat them in our next game. Probably goal differential will come into play um, in the return leg. Anyway, guys, thanks for checking out my video. I had a lot of fun doing this one. I'm loving playing just these Champions League games. It's a whole lot of fun, to be honest, especially with the sick team we've put together. Like I said, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you like this type of video, because I'm having a lot of fun making it. Drop a like. Leave a comment if you want. Why don't you guys tell me this? Tell me who do you think is going to advance between... How do you think the Liverpool-Napoli game is going to go? Because I can't wait. I'm going to be on pins and needles watching that whole thing. Can't wait for that next week. Uh, anyways, hope you guys have an awesome day. Uh, see you tomorrow. I'm going to do a video every day this week at 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern. So that's 3 p.m. in the UK. I'm really going to be consistent and put a video out every day from now on at that time. Also, what I wanted to say is I'm, I, I love talking about uh, soccer so much. Football, if you want to call it that, too. Um... I want to do maybe like a topic of the day, question of the day type of thing, like short little video, like later in the day. Like I'll just keep putting my career mode up at 10 a.m. in the morning and then maybe at night, like while I'm driving or something, just record like little five minute videos on any given topic uh, for whatever's in the news that day in the world of football, in the world of soccer. So I might do that too. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Peace.